Today we're here in Newburgh, New York, where we'll meet Dr. Jaspreet Singh, who is a private practice urologist with Premier Medical Group. We'll have the unique opportunity to follow Dr. Singh into the OR and assist him in a prosthetic case. We'll also meet his patient, Robert, who is a construction worker in New York City and has become a quiet patient advocate for IPP surgery. The reason I developed an interest in penile implant surgery or insertion of inflatable implants is being able to restore the confidence in a man to be able to engage in sexual activity is priceless. I mean, these are probably the happiest patients that I have. Being part of the success story is selfishly probably the biggest ego booster that I have. And that's, again, one of the reasons why I love prosthetics, right? Because at the end of the day, you're treating a person, not just a disease. I go horseback riding. I uh, ride quads. I enjoy just being out there, and it's a lot of open space. Probably about five years ago, I started to realize that something's wrong. You know, I've tried the the pills, you know. Um, they they worked at some point, you know, but but they didn't work long enough. I went to Dr. Singh, and uh, it's the best thing I ever did in my life. When he heard that the implant surgery is an option that allows him to be independent, to be spontaneous, and to be able to really achieve an erection whenever, wherever, for however long he wants, it didn't take long for him to say, sign me up. I didn't really probably go into this looking for an implant. You know, I went into this looking to talk to a doctor, maybe doctor give me some, some kind of special medication or tell me that I'm doing something wrong or eat different or whatever. And, and uh, we went over everything and this was the best thing for me. I felt a, a little nervous basically not knowing how it was going to turn out or thinking about maybe there's a lot of pain, but it, it, it excited. The surgery itself is not complex. It is a fairly straightforward procedure. And in fact, in the right set of hands, a procedure that really should take about half an hour to 45 minutes. One doesn't have to spend any time in the hospital. So you come in, you have it done, you go home. As far as the steps go, it, it really straightforward. The normal penis has two cylinders, so to speak, the spongy tissue we call corporal cavernosum that engorge like a spongy tissue. And all we're doing is we're placing two plastic balloons that go into that area, a pump in the scrotum, and a reservoir that holds the fluid. So at a flaccid state, the implant is relatively empty, feels it looks like a flaccid penis. Whenever a man wants to have an erection, he has the access to pressing a pump in the scrotum to be able to shift the saline from a reservoir into those cylinders and being able to have an erection. When, when a man is satisfied or partner is satisfied, there's a release button here that, that you press that allows the erection to go back down. And it's easy as that. I use the AMS 700 platform. The benefits that this implant offers is the reliability of the product and being able to treat erectile dysfunction for the next 10 years. The implant itself is impregnated in an antibiotic solution, what we call inhibizone. And it's really the only product that's out in the market that has this patented proprietary uh, solution. And that is important because it has taken the risk of infection of an implant surgery and has significantly lowered it because that, that inhibizone allows a zone of protection for weeks to come after the surgery. From a patient's expectation to be able to restore an erection to as normal as it was before, I think that this implant offers that. And that's really what we're trying to do when it comes to implant surgery, is we want to get to as close of a natural state as possible. And that's what the AMS 700 really provides. I still lift weights. I, I ride the quads, I go horseback riding, I run on a treadmill every day. You, you don't even know it's there. It's a wonderful thing. You know, it's comfortable. It really changed the way I felt about myself. You know, it, 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 it changed me completely, it really did. 
I want to scream and say it works great. <laughs> the way Robert recovered physically and emotionally is how pretty much every patient recovers. The initial nervousness all the way up to surgery, the sense of relief right after surgery, to then, Doc, I should have done this earlier. And that, that really is day in and day out of, of guys who undergo the penile implant experience. I really enjoyed spending the day here in Newburgh with Dr. Singh. He took the time to walk me through his surgical planning process as it pertains to patient counseling, his use of patient advocates, and modeling the devices in the office preoperatively to the surgery itself. He's built a really beautiful practice here in his hometown for which he should be very proud. Surgery for erectile dysfunction is not a foreign concept. This is a viable solution to a common problem. We'll see you on our next episode of HARD. <laughs>